Hey everyone, welcome back to Q. I wanted to go through me building a deck to complete my daily challenges. So I have win a game with a pure space deck. The truth is out there as a objective for today. And I'm going to be playing in casual as I also have the Complete eight casual games, chill, challenge, slash objective. So let's hop into deck building. Just close that. Get it up, sort by space, filter by space. So first thing is Got to play the rules of casual. So it tends to be pretty energy heavy. So let's search for some cards that are going to help us have some energy. Big Bang uh, seems to cost too much. Same with Cassiopeia as well. Wizard Nebula, and return to your deck if you're losing the round, steal two energy. This seems quite good. So I'll stick that one in. When played, if you win, get plus one energy. Yep, that one's much cheaper. When to return to your deck, get plus five energy, but it costs ten energy, so probably, probably a no on that one. Earth, that's a pretty staple one for space decks what else can we put in the sun i like the sun um, it's probably too unwieldy but we'll put it in for the moment i might take it out increase the cost no thank you um i need to have a think about whether i want to put the pluto combo in I'll put it in for the moment, um, but uh, but it might be too, yeah, again, maybe too unwieldy, because if you uh, get stuck with Pluto in the wrong order to Charon, then sometimes it's uh, not so fun. Uh, one of the really good ones, for space decks, I think, is uh, there's a couple of nebulas that when played together, here it is, heart and soul. I like those two. They're quite good, uh, just standard, standard um, cards. What else might be good? No, that one doesn't work. Like TARDIS, it's a nice like cycle card, so you just play it uh, just to fill up the space on the board to force the cards around because the cards always get played in the same order. So when you play, I don't know, the sun and then you play three cards every single round, you'll see the sun come up again after you've played every other card. It's not random. So you can sort of play two draw specific cards. Oops. Let's have another look at Horsehead Nebula I really like. One of my favorite cards when I first started playing. It's a really nice comeback card. Return to, oh, we've looked at that one. Um, what else might be good? Do I have Apollo 11? Sputnik seems quite good. 
going to put it in for the moment. What else have we got? Okay. I think I've gone through pretty much all of them. Got to have a think about whether I can specialize in anything. So, for example, Mars Rover Curiosity might be a good card to put in if I have enough space technology cards. I think I like Hubble Space Telescope and Mars Rover Curiosity. Just because that plus 15 power for one energy seems really good. I don't think I've quite got enough for uh, a very large array um, because it's yeah because because um, you're only going to be reducing the cost of three cards to set effectively a four energy sixty one, which is good but not. Great. I really like the comeback cards like Rags Object. There's another one though that gives I think plus 40. Here it is, Rosette Nebula, which I'm going to put in instead. I like that. Four more cards. And played your solar system card, so plus 15. How many solar system cards have I got? Earth, Sun, Charon, Pluto, Space Technology, sorry. Um, it's good, but the this turn mechanic might not be quite what I'm looking for. These look like limiting limited cards. Oh, this is the Exploring the Skies. If you're losing the round, your cards are plus 13. So that's effectively plus 39 if you play three cards. 39 plus 28 is 57. Three energy, 57. It's quite good. It's definitely got potential. I'm going to put it in for the moment. I like Hydra Constellation as well. Um, and it's a when drawn as well, so you don't have to worry about playing eight energy cards. Give three random cards in your hand plus 14 power for the rest of the game. Yeah, I like that. Two more to go. Yes, when played with asteroids, give that card plus 40 power. Where's asteroids? Oops. Plus 47 energy 106. But it gets brought down by the other one, so no. I think I'm going to put in galactic collision. That seems, seems good enough, I think. And uh, hawking radiation is definitely not strong enough. I like, I'm going to put in Dark Matter just because that feels like quite a, uh, an intriguing card to put in. Fused that quite recently. Spe space only. It's got to have a good symbol on it. A telescope it is by the looks of things. Okay. Let's go into casual. Yep, so starting energy seven, zero is the minimum energy, no cap on maximum energy. So this should snowball with the sun and possibly gigantic wave in Perseus. So I'll be able to play these big cards um, like Horsehead Nebula, Sputnik, Charon, Hydro Constellation, 
So let's go into the game. <laughs> Sometimes when you change settings, the uh, music comes on really weirdly, um, or like it will go off and then it will come back when you're into two different menus, so that's why that suddenly went up. When return to deck, if you are losing a round, stick to energy, let's play that. The idea is then I can play Horsehead Nebula next round, um, and I'm not going to Nope, swapping it, swapping it. There it is. Yep, so next round I'll play Force Head Nebula. That's a nice cycle card. So I'll play that. Like you might have a pain the anthology only deck, which seems really cool. Skip the turn for him. Do I have a chance of winning this round? That's the question I'm asking myself. I'm thinking, no, the most I can do is 77. Sorry, 99, sorry. With 7. I'm gonna go for some. 102, he's playing 3 cards, he should get higher than 102. Yep. I'm happy with that. It meant I didn't waste the turn trying to beat him. I'll get 2 extra energy per turn now. So going forward in the match, I should have a better chance of winning. Pegasi B, 51 Pegasi B. Okay, I think I'm gonna go play the Hydro Constellation. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. going to be losing this turn, so let's play that. Gonna take away two energy. Give it to me, thanks. Heart and soul combo. This card seems good. That seems pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Hopefully I can close out this round. Nope. Got the uh, refused combo. Which means we're going to fall short by 30 or yes, so. Mm. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, little one. Um, Ciao, on. And this is where something like TARDIS really comes into play because if you should just like add another card, nice and, nice and easy. Thirteen energy. Sputnik, maybe. Okay, okay. Very close. Fine. So 
I didn't think he'd have enough enough power to take me out that turn, but uh, yeah. Okay. Next match. It's not a pure deck, which is nicer, I think, sometimes. More interesting. Oh, he's got Zeus, okay. Well, I didn't play that quite so well. Space technology, nice. Got to play Sputnik when he plays his. Space cards. Okay, might play Hydra Constellation actually, just to try and sure it up. Oh, it didn't matter, but that's fine. Okay, we've got one, one under the belt. Two more to go. Four energy. front I get to keep keep that buff this is where Charon comes into play okay won the round no problem and just play Charon it round back into the deck. Ten energy next turn, which is plenty. Just Earth. I think we play like this, maybe. Okay. Plus twenty-five. Nice. Yeah, let's do that. We'll try and come back for this one. 56. I 
I like that. Heart and soul. Yep. When you believe in the heart of the cards, you can draw all two pieces of the heart and soul combo. There we go. And uh, that was the objective completed. Hope you all enjoyed. A bit different because I included deck building, but I like doing it, so I might make more of these videos. Cheers.